Today's A-level chemistry video is all to do with isotopes. So we'll start with our definition of an isotope. So it's atoms of the same element with the same atomic number, which remember is the number of protons, but different mass number. And what changes that ma mass number is the fact that the number of neutrons changes. So for example, chlorine has an isotope which has a mass number of 35, has a second isotope which has a mass number of 37. What's the difference between these two isotopes? Well, it's two neutrons, isn't it? Chlorine 37 has two extra neutrons, which makes sense if we consider that definition. So we'll dive in with this question. This is more of an IGCSE, GCSE type question, but it's good to get our eye in in terms of what's going on with these types of questions. So a naturally occurring sample of the element chlorine contains 75% of the 35 Cl isotope and 25% of the Cl37 isotope. Notice that in total, obviously your percentage should add up to 100%, which it does indeed do here. It says calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine. So to find the relative atomic mass, you do the mass of the first isotope times its percentage. And then the mass of the second isotope that's mentioned times its percentage divided by 100. And that's obviously the case even if you have three or four isotopes. But here we only have two isotopes, so let's follow my instruction. Isotope 1 has a mass of 35. There's the percentage of it. Isotope 2 has a mass of 37 times its percentage. And then when you put that into your calculator, you get a value of 35.5, which makes total sense because that mass number sits somewhere in between the two mass numbers of the isotopes. So do check that your answer is sensible. Now let's make this more of an A-level style question. So here a sample of sulfur consisting of three isotopes has a relative atomic mass of 32.16. The following table gives the relative abundance of two of these isotopes. Use this information to determine the relative abundance and hence the mass number of the third isotope. So first of all, we need to work out the relative abundance of the third isotope. So that really means find its percentage. And as I've said, the relative abundances should add up to 100%. So first of all, calculate the total relative abundance here for the other two isotopes. That's simply 92.8%. So we do 100% minus 92.8 to get 7.2%. And then we use the equation from before in order to find out the mass number of the third isotope. So in this question, we know that the relative atomic mass is actually 32.16. The mass number of isotope 1 was 32. We're using the table times by its relative abundance. We're after the mass number of that third isotope. So there's our x value. We just calculated its relative abundance. So now it's just a matter of rearranging. So multiply both sides by 100. Do 32 times 91. Take 2,971.4 away from both sides. And then finally divide both sides by 7.2. And your final answer is actually 34. And the reason for that is because your answers should always be given to the lowest number of significant figures used in the question, which we can see is two significant figures. Let's look at a past paper question now. The relative atomic mass of a sample of rhenium is 186.3. Here's information about two isotopes. Calculate the relative atomic mass of the other rhenium isotopes. Show your working. So we know that in total, the mass is 186.3. The first isotope has a mass of 185. There's its relative abundance. So the reason I picked this question is 
because it tells us that we have two isotopes, but look, the total relative abundance only adds up to 27 as opposed to the 100, which you're more used to. So just be aware. What they're saying is they don't have all the isotopes present. They just have two isotopes of rhenium. So you want to actually divide these numbers by 27. So now we multiply both sides by 27. Take away 1,850 from both sides and then finally divide by 17. So our final answer is 187.1. And then I chose this question because it is slightly more tricky due to this mention of a ratio. A sample of strontium contains three isotopes, 86, 87, 88 strontium. 82% of the sample is 88 strontium. The other isotopes are in a 1 to 2 ratio of 86 to 87 strontium, and that's probably the line of this question you might not like. Calculate the percentage abundance of 87 strontium in the sample and use your answer to deduce the relative atomic mass of the sample, giving your answer to 1 dp. So we have all of the isotopes present, which means we're going to have a total relative abundance of 100%. So now it's a matter of working out what percentage we have of each of these isotopes. So in total, we know we have 100%, which means that together these must account for 18%. Now, the ratio we've been told is 1 to 2. So how do we do that? Well, add up 1 to 2, so you get 3. Divide that 18 you just calculated to find that a ratio of just one part is 6%. And therefore, that allows us to work out that 6% of it is 86 strontium, 12% is 87 strontium. And then altogether, that adds up to 100%. And then it's exactly the same as what we were doing before. We're after the relative atomic mass, so that will be our x value. And then do check the wording of the question. They want it to one decimal place.